Hi there and welcome. I am at LinkedIn HQ in San Francisco and it's a busy day here and I'm right in the foyer. I've just come out of a meeting with catching up with some of the LinkedIn learning team and what I thought I would do is share with you what you might need to consider if you are a solopreneur, if you are going out on your own or perhaps you're even thinking about going out on your own and wondering well what what is the point of LinkedIn and why would I do it and and uh, why would I go on LinkedIn and because uh, maybe you're thinking well I've been on LinkedIn but it doesn't really hasn't really served anything I haven't really got any opportunities out of it and the key is is that you have to drive it it's like a, a bus it's not you know self-driving you have to drive it so it's not like you get on the bus and it just starts looking after itself you need to get in the bus and start driving it because by the research tells us that by 2020 50 percent of the workforce will be self-employed in Australia and it's well and truly on track with that now anyway and for those who are perhaps trying to get roles maybe you're noticing that there aren't the roles out there and maybe this is what you're thinking that you're going to have to do and to shift your profile into being an influencer as opposed to a job seeker. So uh, a few things to be mindful of. LinkedIn is currently telling us that we have 4.2 million monthly users in Australia. The average person spends around 17 minutes per day using it and around 40% of users are on it every single day. So this is an incredible platform for where you can hang out to be able to access those ideal clients. The problem is, is it's not just a matter of setting up your profile and then everybody magically appears. As I said, you have to drive it. Uh, so, and I think we've got one big challenge in Australia and that is the tall poppy where it's not cool to stand out, it's not cool to say, look at me. So how do we position and market ourselves and get that balance between trying to get our message through but not looking cocky or arrogant or anything like that. So I think there are really three things you need to consider to build your profile. Uh, and to be able to leverage LinkedIn to grow your, your influence or to grow your profile as an influencer. The first thing you need to do is you actually need to have a profile that reflects, reflects your future, not your past. So I see lots of LinkedIn profiles that look a bit like obituaries. So in other words, if I read it out loud, it would probably sound like I'm at your funeral. So it's time to look at it and say, well, does it actually inspire? Does it show the challenges that I solve for people? Am I turning up in search results for people? Am I easily findable? Because if you're not, then you're not going to be be turning up anywhere and in fact you'll be not attracting but you will be uh, repelling your ideal client because it's just not singing to their tune. The second thing you need to do is you need to be writing content. So you have to have a position, you have to have a message and you need to know what it is that you're trying to say and what problems that you solve. Without doing that, what happens is your profile just becomes like a blank canvas. There's nothing on there. So people don't understand what you're trying to do. And when people don't understand, a confused mind says no. So they have to be able to say yes. So your job is to help them to get to understand how you can help them and trust that they can trust that you are the right person to help them. So that's number one, number two. Sorry, number one was profile build. Number two was the content strategy and not just a strategy, but actually start writing uh, and doing videos and things like that. And then the third thing, the third thing you need to do is you need to be able to reach out and have a conversation with people. So knowing what to say to people, how are you going to say that? You know, you're behind a computer screen now, so suddenly it feels a bit strange and it's not like talking to a, a human being face to face. So do you know what your scripts are? Do you know what you're going to actually say to people rather than just hit default settings and connects and accepts and hope that it will all work out for the best? So I hope that's useful. I look forward to your comments and hearing how you use LinkedIn to help you become an influencer in your field.